You dirty, dirty girls. I can see by your bulbous bottom that you're a native. Is that Ein Steinpilz? Das schmeckt. The king bullied. And when you eat a king bullied, you've eaten something that kings eat. The Willis family, the Slippery Jacks, Slippery Jills, these are growing under western red cedar and uh, fir. Uh, you might be able to see some tunneling, the bugs like it, slugs like it. Mm, yeah, it's hard to find a good specimen of the Slipper Jack. Uh, they're very abundant in the pine forest on the other side of the hill. When the king bullet is uh, fresh, it has a brilliant yellow reproductive structure. As you can see, it's composed of uh, vertically aligned little tubules, and the ends of those empty out below the mushroom and emit spores when it reaches maturity. Uh, the spores, of course, are maturing and they turn green which gives it the, the gills green coloration uh, and um, I'm, the, when these uh, reproductive structures are fresh and golden as you see under the cap um, uh, you can eat them they're perfectly good to eat However, in this uh, circumstances, I've decided to remove the spongy reproductive mass and get down to the meaty aspects. And let's just take a detail. And this will help, these taxonomic uh, details will help you identify the king bullet. And as you can see, it has this kind of a downy, uh, brownish coating. It almost looks fuzzy. Um, that's uh, an indicator of the species. There's also a queen bullet, which is smaller in stature, same family, uh, just as Dulichios. There's a small fly, like a gnat, that uh, lives symbiotically in conjunction with the Belit family. Um, the larva will hatch out of the ground, go into the end of the stem, and tunnel up towards the top. Eventually they consume the entire mushroom, they love it so much, and um, it'll turn into a puddle. A brown puddle, liquefied puddle, and then, um, of course, uh, if you were to leave it in a nice warm place, like in a bucket in your house, after a few days, you would have a strange infestation of little flies buzzing around and nothing left of the mushroom. My friends, James and Earthman, of course, were down in the canyon and got lost. Well, they were yelling up to the top. But once in a while, I would yell back. But before they came up the hill and to the psychedelic hippie van, I managed to find these beautiful specimens. We're going to eat good tonight. We're cooking pork steak with bolitas, cream sauce, mashed potatoes. It's going to be quite good. And I only wish we had smell-o-vision. 
and taste division so that you can enjoy it too. But take my word for it, you got to find these. Easy to dry. Jar them up. You get them absolutely dry, dehydrated. Jar them up in glass jars. And then you can throw pieces into a soup and make a wonderful winter meal which you can't buy at least people like me can't afford to buy so we have to do it the hard way and go out and get fresh stuff that's not all dried out and in a plastic bag and shriveled at ten dollars a pound at your local uh, grocery uh, uh, syndicate <laughs> Well, now that you girls have finally cleaned up a little bit, we're ready to prepare a King Bolit creme sauce from, from scratch, which is going to go on that pork steak. Probably have some uh, green beans or something on the side, mashed potatoes, and when it finally gets back, and um, um, I, I might cost you, uh, don't wash your mushrooms and then store them because it just adds water and they'll soak it up and it add any moisture added to the exterior it might cause a white fuzzy mold in storage so you want to keep your mushrooms absolutely dry and clean in a cool place uh, um, and not in a plastic container that will condense and promote mold. That's like a, a mini uh, environment for mold. You want to keep the surface dry. Uh, you can store them in a paper bag in your fridge and they're just fine. Or even in your garage. You just want to keep them from freezing. And they'll keep for a while. I wish you could smell these bullets. Well, we've got them cleaned up. We got them segmented, uh, chunky style. And uh, next step is constructing a crumb sauce to put over that pork uh, steak. And um, um, so I guess I better look for a um, fry skillet and some butter. Moving it back and forth, you can't 